Hey guys, lovers, friends, family, welcome. Welcome. Today I'm doing my first ever Disney Plus movie review. Yes, yes, finally. Finally. I know, I know. Now, before we go deep into this video, I'm just going to issue a disclaimer like I always do. All thoughts and opinions stated in this video are solely my own. No one else told me to say these things. They're just my own thoughts. And I'm not a professional movie critic. Even though at this point, let's just be honest, I might as well be. I'm just an opinionated girl who loves watching movies. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, the name of the movie we are reviewing today is Clouds. The name of the movie is called Clouds. It is on Disney Plus. It was released on the 16th of October of this year. I know, I know I'm late, but I have my own reasons. This movie is an emotional movie and October was a very emotional month for me so I don't want to pile that on to myself anyway as I always do I went on Wikipedia let's thank Wikipedia for their help I went on Wikipedia to get the plot description of the movie and Wikipedia gave me a long oh my gosh it was the longest plot description I've ever seen no actually no I'm lying Rebecca's plot description was longer than this but this was also quite long it was it was a lot so I'm not going to give you the whole plot description I'm just going to give you the first three or four lines and if you would like to know more or to read more of Wikipedia's plot description I will link them down below and you guys can go and read the whole plot description but the first few lines of this movie of this uh, of the the first few lines on this particular plot description go as follows in the fall of 2012 Zach Sobiak performs an acoustic rendition of I'm sexy and I know it to an amused crowd at his school's talent show Zach has been struggling with osteosarcoma and has been receiving regular treatment for it his best friend Sammy Brown conspires with him by helping him write music that's all I'm going to give you it is a long plot description if you want to read the rest of it like I said I will link the Wikipedia page down below and you guys can go do that anyway the movie is based on true events or rather it's actually based on a book called fly little higher by Zach's mother Laura Sobiak but the book is based on true events so the movie is based on true events and like I said earlier on, the movie is very emotional uh, because of the amount of emotions I found myself in. I actually had to watch the movie twice because I needed to make a, I don't know how to, not I needed not to make an emotionally based review or opinion. So I didn't want my opinions to be clouded by emotions. So I watched the movie twice. First, the first time I watched the movie, I cried a lot, a lot. Uh, but when I watched it the second time, only one scene made me cry. So I think my emotions were all gathered up when I watched the movie for the second time. My first impressions of the movie, um, it reminded me a lot, uh, or rather it reminded me of that movie, The Fault in Our Stars. Yeah, I don't know if it's because both movies are about teenagers who have cancer. So, Zach has um, osteosarcoma. I'm not entirely sure if I'm pronouncing that right. So, he has this particular cancer. He's been battling this cancer for a very long time. He goes to chemo. He does everything that he needs to do. He then likes a girl. Um, who will ultimately be his girlfriend so he likes this girl and he asks her out on a date on the day that he has a date with this girl a picnic date which I think is very romantic but on the day that he's supposed to go on a picnic with this girl he gets sick and then ultimately gets admitted he needs to get emergency surgery done and then they then ultimately found out that he is or rather his cancer is terminal so 
he's given weeks maybe months to live and that's when basically everything starts if that makes sense so once they found out that his cancer is terminal his family then decides or rather his mother his mother decides they're going to go to this place in france called i want to say lourdes but it could be lords she said lords on the movie the mother said lords on the movie they went to this place in france called lords so they the, the whole entire family basically goes to france but when they got there the people who got baptized it looked like a baptismal to me i don't know any other word to explain whatever was going on there besides to call it a baptismal so they get baptized the zach's mother and zach only both or only these two i'm not sure if the whole family did that but when they were in line it was just zach and his mother so they both got baptized separately and then everything else like this whole whirlwind of events then started happening once they came back from lords or lordes i don't know i'm going to say lords once they come back from lords then like i said a whole whirlwind of events start happening he zack zack then gets this inspiration to start writing his own music um with his best friend semi and i love that they also featured or rather they showed us the relationship between semi and zack um they did quite focus quite a bit not a lot but like quite a bit on the relationship between zack and semi we got a glimpse of zack's relationship with his siblings um his family life they also showed us quite a bit as well of zack's relationship with his girlfriend amy that's her name her name is amy um they showed us that particular relationship so the great thing that i liked about the movie is that even though they focused on zack's musical success um we also got a very huge chunk or the movie focused quite a bit on zack's personal relationships which i personally enjoyed in the middle of all of this he then gets um, him and semi get called to sign a contract at bmi as music writers on his way back or on their way back then zack gets this push this other inspiration the big one i would say um for him to write the song named clouds which the movie is named after so the whole point or rather the whole message of the song is that even though this is goodbye like this is goodbye now but we will ultimately see each other again um they throw a prom slash concert slash benefit for for zach um his friends his school and they they have this location so they throw like a prom for him right and at this prom or concert this is now where i really i i got i, I really got into my feelings i'm still very emotional thinking about it so he goes up on on the stage to sing his song clouds he goes up on the stage to sing and then he can't he starts coughing um he has like a coughing fit on stage and then the music stops and then the crowd sings back to him this particular song clouds and when i tell you i don't believe anyone who watches this movie gets and gets to the scene i don't believe anyone will watch this movie and leave or and stop watching the movie without at least crying in that scene but then unfortunately zack does pass away he does pass on they they show they don't show us him passing but they do 
specify or they do tell us that he then passed away what i appreciate i don't know why but i appreciated that they didn't do this they did not depict um zach's funeral which i personally think was great i've never read the book so i'm not entirely sure if the book does go into detail or does mention the funeral per se but i love or rather i appreciate it that they didn't they didn't depict the funeral i do believe that that was a very personal very emotional time for the family and they didn't have to go deep into that because you know at such emotions cannot be reenacted if i'm ma- i'm not sure if i'm making sense but emotions especially if it's a true something that really happened like an actual funeral i don't believe you can reenact emotions like that i don't care how good of an actor you are so the cast in this movie is actually great they're good um the guy who plays zach sobiak is his name is finn agus i've never seen this guy before i don't know why and i don't know which rock i've been living under but i haven't i've never seen this guy before and he is a great actor um the character of sammy brown is played by sabrina carpenter i've seen her before cannot exactly pinpoint right now where but i've seen her before her face is very familiar and amy is played by madison eastman she's bethany on jumanji and that's basically the only production that i've seen her on before clouds so i was like that's bethany yeah she's also great they're great um they also have other great actors i mean neve campbell is on the movie she's the mother she's laura sobiak so the cast is actually a good cast they're great and now i'm going to rate the movie um i'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 i'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 it's a good movie um it's a biography so you know it's not going to be perfect because real life isn't perfect but i thoroughly enjoyed it i think they did a great job with the movie so i'm going to rate it an 8 out of 10 because I enjoyed the movie very much, watched it twice, didn't pause once, called both times that I watched the movie. Um, so yeah, that's it. So we have reached the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Comment down below if you agree with my opinions. Even if you don't, comment and we can have a conversation and since you're already here i mean you're already here I might as well go watch my other movie reviews i will link them if you would like to i mean you're already here so might as well just please go watch my other movie reviews anyways that's it um goodbye peace love and light to all of you <laughs>